The way Chase Smith horse plays with his sister, you would never guess he has a debilitating kidney disease. It's called hemolytic uremic syndrome. Chase and two of his siblings who have the disease have been in and out of the hospital for years. Tried all kinds of things. I mean, nothing crazy, but they didn't really know what to do to make it go away or make it better. The Smiths then became part of a clinical program at Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, where doctors did complete genome sequencing. That provides a blueprint of the body's DNA. They discovered a kidney gene was causing the problem. It helped to rule out a $400,000 a year medication that could cause dangerous side effects. So we are avoiding her having increased risk of infection from medication that wouldn't help her. As genome sequencing becomes more common to help treat mysterious diseases, it's also attracting those individuals who want to know more and are willing to pay. The Medical College of Wisconsin is among the places now offering the test to anyone. The price? 17 grand, which includes genetic counseling. So your DNA carries information about what you're at risk for. I think the future is, can we use that information to do a better job of helping you avoid going down to the disease process? Which is why Jeff Harris decided to have his genome sequenced through the school. But it wasn't an easy decision. He's such a worrier. Um, I think some people can get information and just tuck it away and keep it in their back pocket. <laughs> but that's not Jeff. He opted to find out only about treatable conditions, but he wants to keep that information private. As people don't know, for example, how insurance companies are going to treat this information. For the Smith family, genome sequencing didn't point to a cure, but it kept the children safe from the wrong treatment, letting them carry on without skipping a beat. Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press.